When you work on multiple research papers or do variations of the same topic, which is when you're acquiring expertise, that's what you do, right? Sometimes you end up with a lot of duplicates in your library. And so if the duplicates are the PDFs that you have in folders, sometimes that's easier to manage if you're systematic about how you name them. But when you get into your Zotero library and you have all these duplicates, what do you do with them? In other citation managers, you eliminate them or delete them, but in Zotero, you don't. And so this is really cool. There's a little section of my library called duplicate items. And if I come over and I look at my duplicate items, I seem to have a habit of searching in the same place twice. If I click on an item, it will automatically select other items that it believes are the same. Now you need to watch this pretty carefully because sometimes it will, um, th there'll be some minor differences or maybe similar author names, but a variation on the title. So you want to make sure you look at all the options, but this shows you the options that you have on the other in the other window. So if you look at this and you'll see, okay, these are apparently exactly the same. I can come up to this button that doesn't really look like a button and say merge these two items into one and boom, you're done. Now it goes to the next one and look at this. Choose the version to use as the master. So this shows me when I brought the item into my um, my library here and I can click on them. And sometimes if you click on one and then the other, aha, the second one has more information than the first. So the second one actually has the author's full names. It has a little bit more of the abstract. So I can choose the version to use as the master item. And let's say I click on that one and I say merge two items and boom, that's done. So you just work your way through all of the duplicates that you find. And I've got about 200 of them, so I won't do all of them right now but that enables you to put everything together so you have your master citation. And as you start to form your library, it's not gonna look as messy as mine, but as you start to really form your library, then um, you'll be able to manage the references a little bit better and know what you have before you search. So I hope this was useful. Happy researching.